Now in this topology, I'm not using GNS3. GNS3 and Cisco Viral do not currently support SPAN. So what I'm using are physical Cisco routers, which are connected to 2950 physical Cisco switches, which in turn are connected to 3750 Cisco switches. I've got a PC connected to the 3750 switch and it's running Wireshark and we'll use it to capture traffic from the network. Now I'm going to demonstrate in a moment that when traffic is sent from router one to router two, in other words, unicast traffic such as pings or telnets are sent from router one to router two, the traffic will be sent to the first 2950, which in turn will be sent to the first 3750, which in turn will be sent to the 3752 switch. And that will continue until the traffic arrives at router two. This capturing PC will not have visibility of unicast traffic because when the MAC address table of switch one is populated, it's simply gonna switch the traffic from this interface to, for example, this interface to forward the traffic to router two. Traffic is only gonna be sent out of this interface if it's sent to unknown unicast addresses, multicast addresses, or broadcast addresses, or specifically sent to this capturing device. So the capturing device will have no visibility of traffic sent from router one to router two, unless we enable span or port monitoring on the 3750 switch. So I'll firstly demonstrate that traffic sent from router one to router two is not received by the capturing PC, and then we'll configure span on the switch so that the PC is able to capture the traffic using Wireshark.